Hello, my name is Eric Brown, and I am the creator of Justice for Jerome the Guinea Pig. The reason that I made that page was for to see how the animal lovers will come together for a common cause. And I noticed that there are no real animal lovers out there. They're just an angry mob of people that named a stray cat four, I mean guato, meaning four in Italian or Spanish. It depends on who you're asking or who you're speaking to. And they want to try out these kids as adults. They want to go, well, not the six-year-old, but the 10, definitely. We can try him like he's 45 years old and he should know better, you know. And I just find it cruel for them to want to put a 10-year-old in the justice system that's never been fair or kind to us. For them to think that the justice system is the way to handle a 10-year-old. They would never, ever put one of their kids in this predicament. But we are okay with it and saying, yeah, the kid needs to be punished. Yeah, the kid needs to be punished. I would like you to say that when a little kid um, kills a, 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 a store-brought pet. And then have the nerves to bring it back to the store and ask for a refund. The store manager, which I put her face on the internet, I mean, I put her um, post on the internet, didn't find it alarming enough to call the police and press charges. But she figured, well, they'll give the kids jerks more pets anymore. Let's give them fish, as if fish don't have feelings. But I'm going to end this off and just let you hear what it's like to get justice for Jerome the gerbil when you call Channel 12 News and they find out that the kid that actually killed the gerbil is not from Patterson. Oh, what do you, do you want? I'm just I filled out a police report. I want the news Channel 12 to bring someone down here and a camera person to find out why my calls from the police department is being ignored. I want help from Channel 12 News. The same way you guys are helping putting these 10-year-olds in jail, and messing their lives up, I need to find out that snort. Okay. Oh, for real? I get hung up, hung up on. Let me call back. This is ridiculous. I get hung up on. <laughs> hey, how are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Um, how do I report a worthy story? Uh, is it something going on right now? Yes, it's going on right this minute. What is it? You can tell me. Um, animal cruelty. Being that that's the hot topic right now. Does it do that? Does it does it matter if the kids are from Patterson or from Hackensack or anywhere? Does it matter? No. Oh well, I got hung up on by your News Twelve desk person because I'm trying to expose a pet store that um, let a parent come in with a gerbil with a broken neck that they admitted they kid broke the gerbil's neck and they wanted a refund like it's a toy. This is a living creature, and I'm getting hung up on by your coworkers. And I called the police department. I, the police department sending me to the store. I called the store. The store is sending me. Then the police department told me to go to the store. If I go to that store, I know they're going to call the cops on me. And then I'm going to be arrested. I just want to know what procedures to do. I even went to the case of going to the um, animal place, the NJ, the NJ SP, SPCA. Uh -huh. I inboxed. The in, I inboxed him with um, justice for Jerome the gerbil. I inboxed the proof I had. I have got no response, but then I look on that same page. He's thanking Renee, the one you guys just interviewed again today on TV just now about animal cruelty. So I'm trying to find out what kind of connection and, um, Renee has with Channel 12 the police department and the SPCA that they can only try some cases and only tell put certain kids in in jail or, or in the system. I actually tagged all my stuff to Channel 12 
in the news on my Facebook. And I just think I'm I'm very upset. I'm not going to ignore it. Well, I can tell you that I'm not racist, and no one I work with is racist. You know, how would you know? You oh, how would I know? How because would you speak? I can't. Enough, but I do have a phone number for you, sir. I would be happy to give it to you. Wow. You just hold on just one minute. You know everybody at your job now. <laughs> Oh, I've been here for a very long time. Okay, so you know you know what they do at home and how they think about people in their minds. Well, I don't appreciate being it being insinuated that I'm a racist. I didn't say you were. I just said I didn't speak for... I, I'm, I'm bugging out that you're speaking for your whole staff, including the Actually, blacks. Actually, I am speaking on behalf of News 12 New Jersey. We are not oh, a racist. Okay, well, well I want to know why here. News 12 is hanging up on me about... Me trying to expose... Because you've called us, sir, about a dozen times today, and it's borderline harassment at this point. And I'm trying to get you a phone number so you can be satisfied. So if you just continue to hold the line, I'll get that Hold on. Before you do that, before you do that, may I ask you one question? It's going to be my last question. What is it? All right. You just said that I'm harassing you guys, but I got nothing done, and now you're sending me to a number just to get away from you guys and not talk about my story. Sir? I have a lot going on right now. This is a phone number for PETA. They're a co- an organization. Oh, I call PETA. Okay. I got well, them on. I got them. If you're interested, then there's nothing I can do to help you further, sir. Oh, so again, if it's Patterson, kids, you guys can air that and put it on the news. This is what we're, we're faced with today. Again, sir, I think you're paranoid. I'm, pa- I'm afraid. I'm, yes, I am paranoid. Now I'm paranoid. I never said we wouldn't cover the story. I simply said I, I can't promise you that we will. That's well, all I said to you. I understand, so, but do you but, understand? I understand your passion. I really do. No, you don't, because these understand. same well, people. That's not true. You can't assume to know what I think. But here's what I'm going to ask you to do. Because now it's becoming like, even though your passion is very real, and I get that, I really, really do. Because we should all be passionate about things in our life. I really believe that you know what you're talking about. I did tell you hours ago that we have the information from your Facebook page, but the reality is I that you can't continue to call here and harass us until you think what we need to do. I don't allow myself to be bullied in school. I'm not going to allow myself to be bullied by you or anybody. So I understand. So now you, I'm, I'm you know, charged with bullying? I, I really do, but you can't keep calling here because you're not getting the results you want. And the reality is, even if I do the story, I can't prosecute those people. This story only came to us because the kid, the, the, the pet was allegedly stepped on. They came to us from police. I understand so that. If, but so when, if, so I, if the police if the police ignore me, charges, I can't, but I can't. You, here's what you need to understand. We don't go to the police and say, hey, you should arrest these people. No, we I, don't do that. I understand. So I can't. I can't. I don't have. If the police any, is not doing their the, job, can the, the news help me? If the isn't going to cooperate and press charges. If can the if news I, help me I expose really them? Have a story. But my saying is that's the story to me. If the news can, can if the police can make a report, because I got recordings of the police sitting here telling me to go to PetSmart store. They can't because make a Pet report. Smart would have to file, would I call have to file PetSmart. A I called PetSmart. They gave me the wrong number to their then corporate why are office. You blaming us for no, their I'm blaming. I'm. And if that's what it comes back. Well, now, I'm sorry. Know, I apologize. But and, what I'm talking and, about and is I being you, and hung and up on. I get on. your passion, but you can't continue to call here to try to force us into something because that's really not a productive way to get things done. I hear you. I'm going to check your Facebook page from time to time because you could be a really good source of information. But at the same time, but that's I'm. Not I feel like my. I feel them. like my source of information won't do no good unless it's a person that looks like but me that did some crime. That's not necessarily true. You that, know well, I mean? in that's this case, it is because I know the little white boy that killed the gerbil. That's not the only gerbil he killed. Why he's not being called a criminal and psychopath? Well, if you, but see, th- this is what I'm saying. This is what I told you before. You seem to know a lot more than you're letting on. So if you're going to tell me something, tell me something. You can't play cloak and dagger with me. Because I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm letting hearing. you know that the store manager that I have the proof, and if you look on the thing, I show her. And and she said this, and then I even got inboxes where they pe- people hit me in my box saying, "Yeah, now we got you. We getting our justice. We're coming down there with our candles. Come on now, you don't even live in this town. It's a straight cat." And I get that, and that's ridiculous. And we don't. That's why we don't show those kind of things because that's feeding into something. But the news you know just I mean? giving all that guy, that girl Renee. 
that's gonna say tell the tell the officer that didn't that ignoring me and didn't ignore her. Thank you, and I see all the things that you're doing, and I champion you. And then y'all re show her again on the news. This is sad. This is sad. Okay, I hear I need you, to go again, take a walk, I'm, and I'm, I will I'm, take a walk. Can, here's what I can do. I can only be honest with you. I don't have the manpower to send anybody to cover the story out today. I have the information. I'm going to repeat myself to you again. I don't. I will not be covering that story today. I do have your Facebook page. We've all seen it. I know. So, I but, gave but, it to every last one of y'all. Like, I can't continue to have this conversation with you. Not because I don't care, but because I just can't. Because I have a million other things that I need to check into. All right. I, I, sure I, I would not be. I need to make sure there are not people. I would not be calling like, Channel 12 again, ever. And I know that they would not be calling me or contacting me, but uh, I'm gonna. I know I'm gonna continue to see crime in Patterson. I'm gonna continue to see people. I'm, t I'm taking it that way. Because whatever you're doing, you should do it from the heart and do it because I'm doing it from the heart, and it's hurting my heart. Don't try to bully me into a story. I am not that bullying you. It's not. But, but you are, because you've called here at least six times. I don't know who you are. I'm not making any threats. All I'm saying I'm is... I'm not saying you're threatening me. I, I, I well, I'm trying that. to figure out what bullying means. What but, does bullying but, but mean? What that means is that you keep imposing yourself into something that I've already given you an answer to. And in that way. So all I'm saying is... I so they call that, if I keep repeating myself, I'm bullying. Well, no, but it, I, it, I didn't want to say you were being... I, I don't want to... I, I don't want to use... Me, if that is an inappropriate word that it I was. Used, then I apologize. But at the end of totally. the day, the situation is still the same. The situation so, is the same. A white kid to, killed the gerbil. You. No problem. Black kids then throw rocks at a cat. If you know the kid who killed the gerbil and the police are not going to prosecute, I don't have a story because I can't get on air and say... And that's racism. Racism is prejudice. Kid, racism is prejudice plus me. power. Racism is prejudice. If the cops won't do nothing... That's that's the epitome of racism, okay. and you'd work at the so news you place. Should, you need to express that on your Facebook page because that's all I have for you right now. I I, I just you want me to give you an honest answer. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to. I can't tell you what you want to hear, but I can't. I also can't keep having this conversation with you. I respect what you're saying, but you need to respect what I'm saying. I do. I do. All right. Take it easy. Take care of yourself. So instead of legislation, in my opinion, it takes education. If the whites have to be re-educated uh, so that the racism that they have in their heart can be eliminated and the, and our people have to be re-educated uh, so that we will know how to do something for ourselves instead of waiting for others to do it for us all the time. Well, how would that re-education be brought about? Uh, well, just as uh, uh, in, the, in World War II, this country could use its uh, news media to propagandize and make our, make the whole American public uh, love the love the Germans and the Japanese, rather love the Russians and the Chinese and hate the Germans and the Japanese. And then after the war, they changed it and made the American public love the uh, the Germans and love the Japanese, hate the Russians and hate the Chinese, which shows that they can make the American public love whom they will and hate whom they will. And that same process can be used to re-educate the American public and show white people how to love black people and show black people how to do something to stand on our own feet and solve our own problems.